The bones these monsters left behind led to the creation of the mythological creatures we call dragons. These prehistoric giants who reigned supreme dramatically vanished, and why they disappeared from the world has been the subject of much debate that has divided scientists. There were a few large-scale extinction events. The first was the Triassic-Jurassic extinction, which occurred in the final 18 million years of the Triassic period, 200 million years from now. The combined efforts of climate change, flood basalt eruptions, and a possible asteroid attack are on the list of theories, leading to the extinction of many types of animals, including the majority of marine reptiles some large amphibians, and a large number of cephalopod mollusks. It is estimated that roughly half of all the species that ruled the Earth at the time died as a result of this extinction event. But strangely, plants were not really affected. Paul Olson from Columbia University's Lamont Daughtery Earth Observatory stated, the only thing anyone can say with any certainty about the Triassic-Jurassic mass extinction is that it happened. When understanding how this first mass extinction occurred, many professionals suggest a flood basalt eruption. This is part a result of the scaled-down example provided by the 1783 eruption of Icelandic volcano Laki. The resulting outpour of sulfurous gases created a haze that dramatically cooled down the planet and led to crop failures and famines which ultimately led to the untimely deaths of six million people. But despite how destructive this was, the volcano only produced 15 cubic kilometers of basalt when the destruction needed to cause a mass extinction would be two million cubic kilometers. This leaves the asteroid impact theory more plausible. However, scientists and researchers have still yet to find the remain of such a disruptive impact but in a stroke of luck, French and German research teams redated a badly eroded structure left by a massive impact near Rochechouart in western France to 199 to 203 million years ago, which overlaps with the date of the first extinction event. The report of this paper documented that enormous sock waves have been generated by a two kilometer asteroid impact. Olsen in the rainy world of Wales Lavermont Point discovered sand-filled cracks and deposits of grainy, irregularly-sized material that might have been the work of a tsunami or an extraordinary earthquake. Although it's a small step, it is a step nonetheless, and it perhaps means that the asteroid impact could be the cause. The last extinction of the dinosaurs, known as K-PG incident, is a highly contentious subject. Scientists agree that this extinction event occurred 65 million years ago in what's known as the Cretaceous Paleogene period and that this extinction of the dinosaurs opened the door for a new group from the animal kingdom to gain evolutionary leadership and dominate the Earth, mammals. Similar to the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event, there are three main theories as to what caused this later extinction. The first, gradual climate change was considered as a viable explanation as evidence highlights how during the late Mesoic era that the planet began to cool. Dinosaurs were cold-blooded and they obtained body heat from the sun and air, allowing them to thrive this change would have made it impossible for them to survive. The second theory, a series of volcanic eruptions with evidence pointing to a number that occurred in India, According to geologist Paul René, the absence of a number of non-avian dinosaur fossil created at the moment of impact highlights that for some species, extinction was already a fact, or a gigantic asteroid attack that wrapped the planet into a prolonged winter and created a number of volcanic eruptions and tsunamis. Out of these theories, the majority of scientists subscribe to the idea that an asteroid impact with the Earth caused this destruction. This view has gained much traction out of the three schools of thought. 
This is largely due to the fact that the extinction not only annihilated the dinosaurs, but destroyed some three-quarters of the plant species as well as other non-dinosaur creatures. With the exception of ethothermic species such as the leatherback sea turtle and prehistoric crocodiles on Earth. The asteroid impact theory which resulted in the KPG extinction event was first proposed in 1980 by Luis Alvarez and his son Walter Alvarez. Both believed that a giant comet or asteroid impacting with the Earth was the only viable cause of such a large degree of destruction in so small a time frame. Furthermore, this theory gains more weight by the fact that a layer of sediment in the Earth's crust containing huge quantities of iridium, which is only found in such high levels in comets and asteroids, strengthened by the discovery of the six-mile Chicxulub crater in the Gulf of Mexico, this then led scientists to agree with the validity of this theory. Possessing a billion times more energy than the atomic bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the resulting after-effect of the asteroid impact, according to the Alvarezes, that the collision with the Earth birthed a legal prolonged winter which suffocated the remainder of the dinosaurs, as well as making it impossible for plants and plankton to photosynthesize, resulting in their destruction. The Earth became inhospitable to all life and no living being could survive such torture. The repercussions of the asteroid impact that scientists believed finished off the dinosaurs completely were subsequent volcanic eruptions that wrapped their surrounding areas in a thick blanket of ash which blocked out the sun. As well as this climate change from such a devastating impact would most likely have been altered after the dramatic transformation the Earth was undergoing, affecting sea levels and turning into the formation of a deadly planet to those who had clung on to life after the initial impact. By creating an unforgiving environment, a plethora of species of animals were made extinct, including certain mammals, pterosaurs, birds, lizards, insects, and plants. The KPG incident obliterated many forms of plesiosaurs and giant marine lizards. But nature did not stop there. The Earth's new environment destroyed species of fish, sharks, and mollusks such as ammonites, which never return to Earth. In this devastating and unrelenting environment that the asteroid had created removed more than 75% or more of all the species that our planet had once encouraged to flourish. At the end of the day, these theories about what killed the dinosaurs are just that, theories. There is surmountable evidence that points to two asteroid attacks which brings into question are we truly safe from the unthinking nature of space? However, without being alive at the time, it is impossible to know for certain what removed these giants from the Earth. What we do know is that the extinction happened and that perhaps one day the human race could find themselves in the same position as those species that ruled before us. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.